Good morning, Cougars. I'm Andrew Lin. And I'm Kate O'Hunt. Today is Tuesday, November 9th, 2021. Remember to bring your pop-top cans to your social studies classes for our canned food drive. The drive ends on November 17th. Let's do our part to help the community. Attention all spelling bee contestants. You don't forget that our first practice meeting is tomorrow, Wednesday, from 2 to 3 p.m. in Room 105. Make sure you're studying your words, Lynn. See you then. Jazz Band Club will meet today at lunch, but there will be no meeting after school. Please eat your lunch before coming to Room 301. The well, next Performing Arts Club meeting on Wednesday, November 10th is canceled for this week. And now a special announcement from Ms. Aquino. Hello, Cougars. We will be celebrating Mix It Up Day tomorrow at lunchtime, hosted by Pause Mentors. It's a chance to get out of your comfort zone and meet someone new. Here's a little video about the event tomorrow. Hey Cougars, National Mix It Up Day is almost here. So, what is Mix It Up Day? Mix It Up Day is a day where we encourage you to step out of your friend group and make some new friends and connections. This can help reduce biases and misinterpretation. Mix It Up Day is this Wednesday during lunch. During your fourth period class, you'll be handed a form with questions to ask other people around campus and have them fill out their answer. When you complete it, you can turn it into a station placed outside the science buildings for a fun prize. Also, special thanks for Ashna, Sanjay, Emma Blunt, Fiona Day, Erica Chen, and Aston Chang for making the posters hung up around camp. camp. See, See you then, Cougars! Thanks for watching. Remember, you'll get a form of questions from your fourth period teacher and have a chance to find a few people to connect with. Turn in your paper to the pause mentors located near the science building and you'll enter into a raffle where you might win a friend of the line pass for the rest of the semester. So let's get ready to mix it up. Now back to the news desk for the rest of the broadcast. Thanks so much, Ms. Aquino. Thanks so much, Ms. Aquino. Just a reminder, we will not have school this Thursday or Friday due to Veterans Day. Today we're ending with an awesome video that explains a little bit about Veterans Day and why we have a day off. Have a great day, Cougars, and a great weekend. We will see you back here next week as there's no advocacy tomorrow. You probably know that every year on November 11th, Americans celebrate Veterans Day to honor the millions of men and women who have served or are serving in the nation's armed forces. But bet you didn't know the whole story behind the holiday. For starters, it wasn't originally called Veterans Day, but Armistice Day to commemorate the truce signed between the Allies and Germany in World War I on the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month of 1918. The first Armistice Day in the U.S. was celebrated on November 11th, 1919. All business was suspended for two minutes starting at 11 a.m. and parades and public gatherings were held to commemorate the occasion. Later, America also began honoring its unknown soldiers on Armistice Day, a tradition that continues today. At 11 a.m. every Veterans Day, a color guard ceremony represents all branches of the military at the Tomb of the Unknowns in Arlington National Cemetery. In 1954, the name was changed to Veterans Day, following a national campaign to have the day honor all veterans, not just those who served in World War I. And did you know, for seven years, Veterans Day was actually celebrated in October? In 1968, Congress moved Veterans Day to the fourth Monday in October so that government employees could enjoy a long weekend. But in 1975, President Gerald Ford returned Veterans Day to November 11th due to the historical significance. And that's where it sits on the calendar today. And do you know the difference between Memorial Day and Veterans Day? Both of them honor those men and women who have served in the military, but Memorial Day honors America's war dead, while Veterans Day honors all American veterans, living and dead. The U.S. Census Bureau estimates that there are currently over 21 million living military veterans in the United States. More than 16 million of these served during times of war, while 5.5 million served during peacetime only. So this Veterans Day, don't forget to say thanks to some of the millions of men and women who have served our country.